So today what I'm aiming to do here is give a bit of a tutorial on uh, making your car look rusted and uh, vintage. Uh, not something that everyone is super into, but it is something that I, I personally really enjoy and really love. Um, it's going to be two different styles. Um, for this one, it's going to be more super rusted, uh, where the metal is completely gone with the car, uh, along the lines of sort of rusty Slammington. Um, if you don't know what that is, just put this video on pause, go check it out. It's on Speed Hunters. Um, I think there's like a second version out now. But yeah, anyway, uh, this side's going to be more rusty. The other one's going to be vintage. Uh, just make sure overall the biggest thing is that you're using uh, more matte based colors. Um, it's going to look best there. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and place the video and fast forward in a little bit because it's going to be a bit tedious and kind of the same thing. Um, so hopefully this helps out anybody that is looking for more tips on it or, yeah, you know, what have you. But essentially, yeah, uh, what you're going to be doing here is you're going to be taking uh, and you're going to be making essentially three layers. Um, your first layer is going to be the general sort of wear and paint sort of rusting or yeah the paint rusting on the car um, that's going to consist of using two or three main colors um, in particular some deep rich browns uh, that'll give you pretty much everything you want uh, and you want to use some different patterns and different designs and you want to kind of place them all around the car and fill out the entire area of the car uh, that'll give you as i'm showing here um, just a nice sort of canvas to start working on from there. Uh, your second layer is going to consist more of the details and more of the hard uh, damage on the car. Uh, so what I'm doing now is giving it some more wear on different parts of it. Uh, and you can even put in some like actual blacks to put in some holes or just some very bad paint damage. Um, in addition to that, there's also these really good uh, new vinyls they have where they are long sort of dripping um, type of, of vinyls and you can use that to make it look like the paint's dripping off or the rust is dripping down um, you can do a lot of things with them but yeah it looks it looks great um, on top of that uh, you also can add for a third layer uh, the more sort of detailed spots uh, you can add essentially using these nice long swishing sort of uh, patterns you can put it on and just put some general sort of wear and general damage on the car paint damage or what have you, you on top of that you also have uh, these new vinyls under patterns uh, that will allow you to actually go in and sort of highlight or darken particular parts of the car uh, and they're perfect for giving it additional damage or additional wear uh, and they actually are really good to use just overall in the corners of the car to make everything darker and give it some more um, more sort of appealing grungy sort of feel to it now on the second half of the car I'm gonna do uh, personally what I prefer to do which is just making the car look older giving it a more vintage look um, still a bit more worn out though of course um, now, I'm going to keep the gray color on the car. Uh, obviously, though, if you're using, you can use any color you want, but if you're using something like a, like a yellow or a blue, you probably want to make sure that you use a lighter version of that color. You, it's, it's just not going to look very good if uh, the car is candy yellow and it's supposed to be vintage. It's, it's not going to keep and not going to match. Um, so, again, using the same sort of brushes that I used before, the long dripping ones, you can see here that they're amazing for making the paint look like it's sort of dripping down and dripping off. Um, you can use them pretty much all over. Um, I prefer on this car to use it following the lines of the car, uh, so using it along the lines. Uh, also the pattern brushes from before, uh, you can use them actually in this case to create like sunspots. If you take the same color and apply it to one spot and then sort of make the spot smaller and darken the color you can get some really good uh really good sort of texture there and a really good look to it uh, and of course uh same as before it's all going to be layers so your first layer is going to be the main color of the car and whatever little damage uh second some additional stuff to that 
and the third is going to be your more uh, your more detailed sort of bits and pieces, splatters, uh, those spots like I mentioned before, so on. You of course also have your your vinyls and your logos. Um, if you want to add a logo to the car, you probably want to make sure that you are placing uh, your layers correctly. You can't really just place like a, a Speed Hunters logo on the car by itself because it, it won't really look right if you put it at the top, it'll look too new. What you want to do and what I'll show in a moment is you want to actually, when you go to place that, that logo, you want to place it down a bit lower in the, in the layers of the car and the layers of your vinyls. That way your second and third layers will actually go over on top of that. And you'll actually see that better on the, on the skyline itself as well. This is my final result. As you can see, finished product. All the layers are in the right place, just like I like them. It's sort of a combination of both super rusted and vintage. Again, really thankful for Ghost for adding this in so we can start doing this. And I'm really looking forward to see what other people can do. I'm sure some people are gonna just blow this out of the water. Uh, so thanks for watching. See you again.